there getting ready. Shot of it right there on your screen as you see Connor McNerney there, the big number eight senior, graduating to become a Navy SEAL, Connor McNerney. The crowd responds in kind. We have both teams on the field here. Now we have the color guard. All right, and our anthem is done, Matt Robinette. We are ready for this Army-Navy Classic to see who wins the Commander-in-Chief Cup, to see who gets bragging rights. This is just a great moment for these two teams. Yeah, it's going to be an outstanding game. Right now, Navy is ranked sixth in the rankings, while Army comes in at rank number 10. Um, so this has implications on national playoffs, so it'll there's a lot going on there's here, and a lot, lot involved in, here, yeah. in riding on yeah, on this yeah. match. I think uh, nothing bigger than just beating your rival. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is uh, one of America's greatest rivalries in sports. This is just a moment to, for these seniors particularly, but all these teams, to really savor. There's nothing, like a national anthem is great wherever it is, but on a military base with the crowd here of all people going to, either serving our country or going to graduate and serve our country, it's, it gives me the chills. It's, it's really a great experience. And we have a Navy is going to be playing in blue and Army is going to be playing in white. So we really have uh, this game coming on hand here. Referee Mike O'Brien looks ready to get things set for these teams as we're getting set for an exciting game here. Teams prepare. Yeah, Army <laughs> team huddled and ready to go there. You see John Kim in the background. That fly half we talked about earlier. Going to be a very important part of this team. So they might. I'm interested to see if there's any nerves early on. See if any. And that'll manifest through drop balls or missed passes. Um, so that I'm interested in that. I'm interested to see. I don't think it'll be too much nerves. These, these guys have played big games all season. And 
they're ready to go. And they train throughout their lives mm -hmm. to not have nerves. This is this is certainly something that's going to be uh, good to see. It's going to be great to see the patterns. I'll try to keep up on those throughout the game and watch and, uh, watch these individual athletes give us John a show. Kim, the uh, Maybe. fly half, set to kick off as referee O'Brien scans for Connor McNerney. He says Navy's ready to go. Kim says Army's ready to go, and referee O'Brien gets us underway here in this incredible match. A little bit of a long one over the head of Gardy Laban quickly, and here comes Navy at their own 22, powering across that line. Let's see who can make the most of these first minutes as turned over quickly there. Rakeem Rispress, the Columbia, South Carolina native, open side flanker. Early turnover there, Matt, but uh, hauled in a touch, uh, almost an uh, early danger against the Navy team as Army looks good at the breakdown right away. Yeah, that was a little bit maybe where we see the nerves come in play. They, they didn't field the kick cleanly, and then it popped out on the ruck there on a little knock-on and turned it over to Army. There's a nice line-out, cleanly won by... Line-out there for Navy, and Navy now has a couple of runners here, and I believe that's McNerney coming into the contact early, but referee O'Brien spots a high tackle, early penalty here against this West Point team as McNerney brought down around the head and they'll be able to move this ball downfield. The wind is is kicking a little bit, maybe 10 miles an hour across across the field. Uh, so maybe a little advantage to one team or another, but it is shifting around a lot. So I don't know, may or may not be a factor. Beautiful day here in Annapolis as uh, we've switched on to off a of natural grass on a turf here. As the, the bad snowstorms during the week have made their regular field a little unplayable for today, but it should be fine for everybody as Navy goes to the front, but quickly dumped there as Dalkey. I'm interested to see here what the defensive line speed, which looks good. They're taking away the space really quickly right off the bat. So they're setting an early tone, and there's another and turnover. Turn it over again there. And there's Matthew Meehan, the freshman from Singapore, oh. taking it across that line as Harrison Farrell. They were a little unsure about Farrell. He got in slightly injured against Cal, but he's in here to play. And another... Uh, Knock on. Knock on there, and Navy getting away with it again. But we are just a couple minutes in, and that's two turnovers from this back row from, from Army. Turnovers in their half, which is danger zone, and then early nerves possibly. I don't know. But that, that defensive, defensive line speed from Army was pretty impressive on that first go. Let's see what they have here. And here we have Cole Uverard, the Franklin, Tennessee native, 5'11", 195 junior to put the ball in at scrum half for our first scrum of the game. We'll see how it goes here. Nice little squeeze there from Navy. As they pick it up the back, and there goes McNerney. McNerney gets held up by the shoelaces. So I don't know that I don't know that Navy has been tested this year too much. So I wonder what they're going to do when they actually have pressure and they're under if they have to come back or whatever. So that'll be interesting. Quick feet. That's good yeah, footwork good there. Good stuff. John Kim, the fly half, working his feet really well there. And uh, the ball back into Farrell's hand. And Farrell puts it out to one of his forward runners there. And they make their way about 45 meters out. And penalty here against Navy for not, uh, not releasing on that ball. And we're going to have the first penalty for Army of this game. But uh, I'd say those early nerves are there. Yeah, uncharacteristic mistakes right now early in the match and there was another mistake by army this yeah. time kim can't find the touch line and that's uh, well played by one of the navy wings out there as they get it back to their fullback benjamin johnston this shinomish washington high school graduate puts a ball long into touch and gets away but army ball again just uh 40 uh thank you 30 meters out from the uh navy line here nice line out and ball is out into the midfield and a little step there. Army works their way towards the 22. Navy trying to hold them up. Doing a good job. Army player staying off, but he's worked his way to the ground. Referee O'Brien awards it to Navy, and Navy's going to have a scrum here just about 30 meters out as it's getting a little heated down there. It is an Army-Navy game. It is an Army-Navy game. Brothers in the future, but today, not so much. As uh, you saw Lakina there page. walking away. And then, and we'll yeah, let him know what's going ball. on. We're going to have another Over. scrum here. It's going to be two yeah. Navy just outside their own 22. As, uh, Again, neither team really stringing together any phase play. They're 
just feeling each other out at this point. And the referee's going to call everybody together to yeah, settle this down, I think. Right. A little bit of a choppy play. start there. Perfect. As came in, made it a mall. When he bailed out, it's still a mall. In yep. And had a little <laughs> word there. Still going to be Navy Keep ball. In those areas in there. Thank you very much. Just explaining that the the, tack, the ball carrier was held up by Navy, and even though he went down, it, the time was sufficient to say it was a turnover. And here's the scrum. Good first scrum from Navy. We'll see how the second set. one goes there as Uverard set to put it in again. Nicely done oh as the ball works its way use back. Use it, use it. Army is all but crumpled, and Uverard now find Scott Diaz. Diaz moves it out into the midfield into the hands of the dangerous Benjamin Johnston. Johnston takes it up to the 40 meter line. Now we can start to see some pattern working. McNerney taking the ball hard in the centers. And here they come again. A little flip oh. behind there from Uverard and really well done. You spend the Vesthausen. Yeah, and here comes McNerney, the danger man. McNerney well marked by this West Point team. I'm sure he would have been the subject of serious video analysis, but a little too much hard work there by this West Point team, and, and uh, McNerney draws a penalty. Yes, and now you can see with a little bit of pattern, with a little bit of possession, Navy is settling down. They're, they're not dropping the balls. That defensive line pressure wasn't there like it was in the first series, so Army is going to have to keep up that defensive line speed, but I think Navy is now adjusted to it and their players are good enough step, to step. speed up. That's one thing Gavin Hickey would bring to this program is options. Tough line speed at first, put the ball in behind him. Let's, let's make sure we can play against this team. Has a four-man lineup set up here, and the ball goes up. I believe that's Dalkey, the big second row that takes it down. Use it as they have some forward runners out there looking for it, but Luis Hernandez, the Amarillo, Texas native, it, had to pick one. it up and clean it up. A lot of hard work here at the breakdown as big Jack Litchens he takes it in a touch for Navy. Fuck. Now the ball to another pod there. This Cody could Mendelow. be dangerous for Army Charlotte, on the outside. North Carolina no what? Starting to tie together the phases now, but looking for it is Uberard. Uberard to the 22 right Whoa. in front. Sneaky play and there. McNerney calling for it. He's got runners either way. We'll see what he does. He gets to Litchens. Litchens pops up to Johnston. Johnston taken down. Great work here by this team as West Point tries to blow it up with some counter rocks. LeBond switches into the scrum half position that he knows so well. And puts Hernandez in his face. As backs aren't out there, but they have a big forward pod. Jubal Schmidt, Ripped. the nuclear and mechanical engineering major, but turned over again by West Point. And Kim puts it downfield for Samaniego. And oof. Let's see what we have called there. There was a collision I didn't see, but we had an offsides there against West Point after all that great work, and Navy's going to maintain that ball, but breakdown becoming an issue. Yes. Scrum or penalty? I think that one just, the, the Army defender just ripped it out of his hands. That's a, a bad well, mistake, but not too damaging. We're still early in the game, 30, about eight minutes in, nothing, nothing. Um, but the encouraging thing for Navy right now is with the possession, they're betting, putting phases together. Uh, they're doing Here's a really good job. That. And they just look at the ball held up here by the Navy team earlier. So now Crouch. the academy has opportunity. Fine. They need to come away with points is what their coach oh, is thinking. Well, that's far side. Brian going to bring that back yeah. up. Get the scrums down his liking. He'll want this to be solid throughout the game. Army has not had any possession of the ball. They, they've got it on a couple of mistakes down here, but it, the possession is 95 to 5. I'd like to see what they're going to do when they do get possession. And uh, Army playing turn the turnover game right now. They're okay as Navy is another big squeeze there. McNerney pushing his team forward. They have an advantage if they want it, and they're going to keep oh, driving it in. And this is impressive stuff by these forwards here as the ball gets into Fiorelli's hands. Fiorelli roll, roll. marshaled in the midfield by this Still Navy, advantage. This, uh, Army defense, excuse me, as the ball comes with Spencer Craig, quantitative economics major, and he moves it forward. And here we go. The ball's into McNerney's hands. McNerney takes a big shot. And now... Uberar just has to move it out, but we have a penalty coming back here. Another penalty advantage, even closer. And the referee's going to whistle it up, but we have a penalty on the other side of the field, going back to that advantage. And they're really drawing these penalties. This is Navy team. When they put it together, they're looking strong right now. That scrum is nasty. 
that's two in a row that they destroyed the Army scrum. And Army's going to have to tighten that aspect up or else if I'm Coach Hickey and, and McNerney, I'm calling for scrums all day. But I will say this. Army is doing an excellent job tackling, which is, I mean, obviously critical to our <laughs> game, but it's not easy to do. Uh, and they're doing a good job. Yeah, tackling, turning over the ball. Take care but, of it while uh, he's going. At ruck time there has been a big factor for them as we're going to go for the penalty to try to get a three-point lead here is Navy. And it's McNerney at number eight. He does a little bit of it all. He's our goal kicker as well. He gets into his routine. And the ball goes up. Touch judges are happy with it, and 3-0, Navy is on the board. First in points of the Commander day. in Chiefs Cup game here. Tough at the scrums, three points ahead on the board. How does that weigh in the minds of this West Point team? Yeah, it's an impressive start. Even after overcoming those uh, nerves and the small errors at the beginning, Navy settled in, and they've gotten some phase play in. Army needs to get possession of this ball so they can get some phase play and get, get their blood flowing the right way. They've been under pressure, save for those two mistakes, two or three mistakes in Navy territory. But if they need to work on those scrums, because that's going to be a key component to this game. And our sideline reporter had some pretty interesting insights on that. And Kim, the Gardena California native, puts a high one up. On advantage. Well done there as the advantage, scrum advantage, comes to West Point. And now they have room to run as, meet, uh, sorry, Farrell moves it out. And they move it out uh. to the wing. Powers back in to set it up. They have a full field to play with here, but quick pick and go there. And oh. penalty is coming, and for not releasing in the tackle. Gotta, uh, and it's going to be a penalty here for West Point, just inside the 40 meter line. Tested out wide right off the bat. They they were. Oh, is that another mistake? Did he get it out? And uh, touch judge is referring to Mike O'Brien to see if the ball's gone into touch and where they're going to play here. And touch and goal, so touch scrum goal. up, I think. Another miscue there from uh, a major moment from this West Point team. We're going to bring this back, and it's going to be Navy ball, I believe. You do more refereeing than I do. What you can't do here is, well, yeah, he kicked it out of... The tri zone, so okay. it, it's uh, coming back. The look at McNerney taking in the contact there. Crouch! Good work for Uber Fine. But we're back here at the scrum. Set! Once more. I think Army is going to have to watch frustration levels. Because if Three. they're not getting possession, do they keep Three. patient? Penalty at scrum there against Navy. Uh, somebody was either boring in or going the wrong way. And this time, Kim makes sure of it. And Army, with a great attacking, attacking opportunity, just about 15 meters out of the Navy line, is going to have a line out. And we'll see where they go. Ryan Moshak, the Terre Haute, Indiana native, gets set to put the ball in here. Navy gets it up into the hands of Mitchell Sanderson. Wasn't immediate. And now we have a penalty. Pull the ball down. Collapsing them all. And in, and they're going to go quick. This team wants to play. And there goes Farrell. Farrell hit hard. Staying tight with some pick and go runners here is this Army team, but Navy trying to hold them up. Irish coach, Irish tactics. As they're trying to choke tackle them there, and they win it. Scrum here for Navy. Leave it. Walk away. That's Walk a try saver right there, Matt. It is. And if you see when, when the Army player picked up the ball off the base of that ruck. He stood basically bolt upright, and that allowed Navy to get their hands around the ball and then just hold him up for the turnover. So the, they've got to get lower. Like all these little details come into play in a game like this, and that's a huge one. Crouch! Let's see what they do with this scrum. Look at the Bye. opposing scrum halves there. A little shot of West Point's Farrell as you were our set to get it going. Now they have been penalized in the scrum, so they're going to have to keep it straight here. McNerney gets his hands on and breaks off the back. McNerney gets by one and threw a half tackle there. Major effort there by Rakeem Rispress to try to turn that over, but not happening as 
Another set of Navy forwards come in. Their exit strategy here. We'll see if they just want to clear their lines after a couple of moves as Kim comes in and forces a kick he might not want over the head of Jordan Jurisic. Jurisic keeps it in. Moves it back there to Nathan Williams. Nathan Williams of Fairfax, Virginia, not too far from here. Puts it down inside the 22 and returned it is again. Probably not using the distance they wanted there as it comes down to Jurisic again. Jurisic, the American politics major, takes it in. And now on the attack is West Point, just inside the Navy half. Oh, look at this blind side. Blind side looks good. There is room if they want it out here. It's filled up a little bit as big Austin Depp, 5'11", 215 pounds senior for Army. Play advantage. Rips that one in and another pod advantage. comes here. Marco Carabata, that's that senior front row doing a lot of work as they draw a penalty there. Carabata right. with picking it up and going with it, but uh, they still have an advantage here. I'm not sure if it's a penalty advantage. Kim had a free play. But we're going to come back oh, for a please. penalty against Navy. West Point's going to have some options here. Good work by those that front row. Very good work and very good phases from Army on that set of uh, play. And they were able to move it downfield a little bit. Navy, uh, Navy's defense looks pretty good, though. They're, they're coming up and meeting them. They're not giving them anything for free. I like what uh, Kim did against the kicker down there deep. His pressure forced him. He was unable to get the ball out. So it was really good work on by army there and now they've put the it's continued time. to keep the pressure on navy for the last five minutes or so army now goes to the tail of the line out but miscue there as mcnerney comes down with it and mcnerney's able to wriggle his way out just inside his 22 and out of jail again after some mistakes is navy but a poor kick there from uberard and they're not going to get too much distance it'll be an army line out just a few meters from where we were before not quite the flowing rugby we were hoping for earlier in this game, earlier in this game, Matt, but hopefully they'll work their way into it. But both teams playing with determination here. Yes, and little mistakes are, are, are holding them back. The missed line outs, the little knock-ons, but they've got possession here. Let's see if they can get through the gap. And Demi makes a good run after taking the pass from Kim. Now they move it out. Huge line speed there from Navy. Holds them up. But just the 22, Kim has the ball, and Navy once again going for the choke tackle. Once again, they're going to hold him up and get a turnover. Hold him up right here and get another turnover. We'll see what happens. And they have done. Well, Boy, that is that is doing them some favors today, Matt. Three at times. Three yeah. possessions. They are just run. Ball. They're yeah. just too, too upright. All inside the 22. All inside the of 22. Of this Navy team. Big factor so far. And the last thing you want to do is scrum against these guys. They're, they're very sound and technical, you can see. Army has done a good job. The... the Got a penalty on one of the scrums, but haven't won, uh, lost the other three or four. See this initial shove from uh, Navy. Oh, just looks great. Impressive. And there they go. The ball is off, and they're just going to keep it in the midfield. It looks like the big number 12 there, Fiorelli, is going to take it in. They're outside the 22, so have to keep take this it ball in or roll it out. As not the kick he probably wanted, just goes out to the 40-meter line there. You can see Kula. the... You can the see the wind knock that ball down. Iowa native. Ball just hung up in the wind there. Leave it blue, step. As now Farrell moves it out there to a forward runner who crosses the 22. West Point really looking to get some points here soon, but the ball goes behind Demi. He can certainly make something out of nothing as he breaks through the gap there. Finds one of his teammates out who takes it contact. Step. Now it moves to the hooker, Moshak, six foot 195. Kim, ball in hand again, puts it to one of his forwards this time. Quickly in is Navy, moving through the faces, and Kim moves it on to Demi one more time. Demi, a strong runner into those faces. Rich back, play on. And looks like the ball's been pushed back there. Everything's okay. A penalty there against West Point. And Navy is going to get out of there 22 again. Yeah, the midshipmen are doing a really good job defensively, taking the space away, hitting them low, taking them down. One, one person, one tackle. And they're not requiring a whole bunch of people to m take down one guy. And that's really when, it, when the competition rises, right? 
how do you adjust to the speed, the talent, and, and both teams are doing a pretty good job of that. I'm really, uh, Army is doing a great job with possession. They finally got some possession, and now they've put some phases and some moves together. So White, they, they still and, and number four, tried please. to go wide out here earlier, and four. it was just that little indecision. The number 10, he wasn't sure if he was going to give it to the flat guy or the back guy, and he went in between, and it was just the Navy's defense is too, too stout. I'm not sure. Oh, he's got a yellow card. Oh, we got a yellow card here against uh, West Point, called by one of the assistant referees. And uh, that could be a big factor here. Not sure what that was for. Be 10 minutes in the sin bin. And that's uh, Mitchell Sanderson. That's a big loss. Yeah. Uh, he's He's... Obviously a large man, and <laughs> they need him in the scrum. The yep, 6 on me. 3 2 20, Hawaiian native. As uh, Now we're going to have a penalty here. West Point's going to move it out again. Uh, sorry, Navy's going to move it out again. It's, it's hard enough to play this game against 15 other people. It's multiplied that by a factor of X for 14 on 15. And halfway through this first half of exciting action here, it's 3-0 Navy over West Point in this Commander in Chiefs Cup final match. As Navy at their own 40 gets set to put the ball in and have done quickly to the ground they go. Hey, out wide, leave it wide. As Uberard puts it out, ball goes into the centers, but excellent defense there by John Kim. Keeps them on their back feet. They come back around and there's room this time. And there is Luis Hernandez talking before the game. We said we might he'd see him out wide, and we certainly did right there. He makes some valuable ground. Ball gets moved. Out that back option. Lakina nearly takes it away. Knock on, knocked offside. Forward. It's knocked on, played by a man offside. So knocked he, on, played by a man offside. see exactly what that was, but a penalty here for West Point. Yeah, he said that the Navy guy knocked it on, and then the player, his teammate, was in front of him and played it. So it was a offsides. Uh, it's going for points here. I think yeah. that's the right call. Good call here. They want to just even this up, and we'll see how Kim does with the boot from about nearly 40 meters out here, just on a little bit of an angle. It's maybe within his range. It's interesting on that last set of moves for Navy. They had been attacking the centers with their forwards, and that time they were going to try to go wide. But again, I don't, I'm not sure Coach Hickey would want them to do that. They had opportunity to just set it up and be patient. So, Matt, we're about halfway through this first half here. Uh, you know, I'm not seeing too much in it. One of these teams is going to break it open. It could come down to a little moment. This is a, you know, although they're not as flowing as we'd like, this is a pretty tense and interesting match so far. I agree. It, it's, it is interesting, but I think, too, you have two really good teams with, filled with great athletes, and it's just going to be time. Maybe the last 10 minutes of each half, we'll, we'll start seeing some line, line breaks and some. hopefully these mistakes go away. Good kick. As the ball goes up there from Kim. Touch judges look at each other, and good to go. It's 3-3 all tied up here at... The Prosmac Rugby Complex in Annapolis, Maryland, here on the Rugby Channel. I am impressed with the, the speed and the physicality of this game today. They're two really well-coached, running hard teams, hard-running teams. And McNerney now set to kick off. McNerney can do it all as he goes long with this one into the middle of the field, and Kim comes down with it. Kim and that's Find some space down there. It'll be a line out to Navy just inside the 40 meter line of this Army team. And that's exactly why they designed that deep kick. And that's what um, Army was trying to do on the opening step, kickoff. Please, step, you step, get it please. deep inside their White, territory. Step. The only step. real option is to kick it out because everybody's in front of him. So, that, uh, and now it's Navy's ball. Navy goes to the back, but ball goes over. It's into the hands of Matthew Meehan. Six foot one, 205 pounder, and a freshman. Now they move it across the field, and Army on the attack. Farrell finds Demi. Demi with those great feet, the Pittsburgh native. And this time it's Navy counter rucking, and Navy seems to be good to go as they move the ball quickly. And the ball is out on the wing there, and Navy inside the 22. Oh, referee has spotted his foot in a touch, and. Well, Navy thought they were getting a try there. We're going to come back, and it's going to be a line-out 
for this Navy team. Yeah, we'll see on the replay if, uh, well, obviously he did step out because the referee <laughs> called Stepping it. So. In the uh, unsuccessful again. Yeah, and that's, Navy takes that ball down, wins the lineout, takes it against him, and McNerney, McNerney, the big senior, crosses the line. Here we go, ball into Gardy Laban's hands. Laban, Greenwich High School native, takes it in. And Navy now was ripped, takes it into contact. Unplayable, it was going forward, wide scrub. <laughs> and Navy now will be defending a scrum inside their zone here. Yeah, that'll be a turnover, the unplayable ball brought in by Navy, so it was turned over to Army. Navy stole it off of that line out, got a couple phases in, tried to attack it wide and couldn't get through. This is a dangerous part of the field and their scrum hasn't been holding up and they don't have their starting second row in there due to the yellow card. That changes a lot of the dynamic when you have to mix and match people. Like they brought in, it looks like they... Demi in to play flanker, move the flanker to second row. So that's going to be one man down there. It's definitely going to make an impact as the squeeze is on by Navy, but Navy able to get the ball to Meehan's hands, and Meehan goes forward. Ball back to Kim. Kim gets it blocked by McNerney. McNerney, the Navy SEAL, knocks it back, and the ball gets put into touch, but it's going to be a he can do it all. It's going to be a penalty try. It was an intentional knock-on, so it would be a... It's, I think it's going to be a penalty try. There's a potential for penalty try here, and referee O'Brien is going to talk to O'Brien, <laughs> assistant referee O'Brien, and we'll see what they have to say here. What a great charge down, though. He just phenomenal by McNerney there. He was just on it. He queued it up. I think that's got to come from some good video analysis work, seeing where their exit strategy is, how the ball is going to go back to Kim. And this and possibly is a yellow, yellow card. card. Yep, intentional knock on into try zone. Let's see if he awards the penalty try. That's their scrum half, I believe, coming off the field. Right now we're two Harrison men. Farrell. And he's a key player for this team. And right now we're two men down. And a penalty, no penalty try so far from referee O'Brien. It's about four minutes remaining on the first yellow card. And he'll have ten minutes, and they're going to scrum it down, understandably so. Let's see if they're going to they're going to try to drop walk this one this, in with this the scrum. Would be, this would be McNerney's senior try right here if they can push us in. Now you're missing a scrum half. You're you're down a flanker. They got some people in here. This is a big moment. You hear the crowd start to get behind this Navy team. I think we know what the play is here. Here Matt. we go. As they move the ball oh. back, and it's in McNerney's hands. They've popped up as that team, and here comes McNerney, ball at his feet. McNerney dives on it, and try McNerney. <laughs> that was amazing. Unbelievable work there. Everybody knew what the play was. Nobody's surprised, but what an effort by this Navy pack. And now they take the lead. It's one thing to know it. It's another to execute <laughs> it, and they executed that scrum perfectly. And look at Kuehl's and Cucumber there was McNerney not phased by scoring a big try, and he's going to get to try to convert this. Well done as we move 8-3. to three. Navy over Army here at Blake Field, Ernie Blake Field for this. Army did well on this previous scrum when they brought uh, the back in to play flanker and they moved everybody around, but I think it was just too much, too close. Navy was going to do it. Look, you can see the low drive. You can see McNerney controlling the ball. and the then ball almost slipped away right there for a second, mm -hmm. but he's able to get down on that, and then well done by McNerney. And McNerney. There's a lot that has to go right, and a lot of people have to do the right thing for that to work. And they did it great, and the crowd helped too. That uh, was some great energy behind that. 
golf they have the 19th hole and rugby they have the 16th man and that was the crowd today as McNerney Ooh. pushes it up and pushes it wide on that one we're going to remain eight to three navy over army here at the army navy classic beautiful shot of the crowd there this incredible prusmac rugby facility plenty of time left for, for both teams wind now blowing kind of directly across the field so it doesn't really benefit anyone depending on where they're kicking and kim being to down two people is going to yes. affect Army Being down two people right definitely now. affect, especially a scrum half. That's a big deal. They're missing, you know, a man that gives a lot of direction there in Harrison Farrell. And I don't know if they if they bump Kim down because he's such an effective with his footwork. He's such an effective player. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. Kim puts it long down into the back line of this Navy team, and Navy powers it out. It'll be an Army West Point line out just inside the 40 meter line of Navy and with under 12 minutes to go on the half I don't think West Point's going to want to go into the uh, into the locker rooms for halftime without some more points so they're going to be working hard right here yeah I think that defense here has been really good looks like their Sinbin is coming back on Sanderson back on the field that's a big body too that's the help they needed back out there. Yeah, absolutely. And to only give up five points down a man for that time. Now, they're still down a man, but down a second row, that's pretty impressive. And there's a lot of factors, right, because he was their line-out jumper. Is he the, he's probably their defensive line-out jumper. And they do bump Kim to ten, I mean to nine. And Demi now gets a ball in his hands. As Army 40 meters out on the charge, Kim moves it to a waiting forward pod there who gets the 40-meter line. And now over the 40 meter line goes this West Point attack. You know, slip of the ball there, but they move the ball around and he ducked into it a little bit of the Lakina, but he takes a high tackle there, and that's pretty straightforward. Penalty against Navy. Just uh, not, not malicious there, but it happens. No, yeah, he just got him. Just unfortunate. Right but the wind has picked Brian, up and it's pretty steady. Yeah, wind has certainly picked up here. That was touch. That's as Navy moves it down into the corner and they will have a line out here I think they'll have a 22 maybe are we it, it went out in the in touch oh, in goal like the try zone again uh, I think I don't know what they're doing or are we referee is talking to his assistant referee no nope, it'll be a line out and we're gonna have a line on attacking line out the five meter line this is a big moment for West Point here to return the favor and they've been pretty effective. Good thing they have their big body back in there. Sanderson. And they go to that man, Sanderson. And they're looking to drive it in quickly, but some bodies go to the ground there. They're going to have to work a little harder as a pick and go goes around the side. Navy pushing them towards that touch line. And Army going for the picks here. Keeping it tight at the moment. We'll see what they do. As... Coach Sherman says they play with velocity and precision. Let's see what they have here. They can get this right, but it looks like a big turnover there. And I believe that's Hernandez. Hernandez, 5'7", 205, hooker. Huge play there for him as they're looking to go wide. An attempt at an offload there from Navy. They got room if they can move it. Guardy LeBond's looking for it, and he's moved it out to the sideline there. And we'll see what they can get as the ball is kicked straight down the throat of Nathan Williams. And Nathan Williams gets taken down just outside the 40 meter line. And Army once again on the attack. Ball goes up to that man, Sanderson. Out of the sin bid, looking to make a big impact here in Moshak. The 2017 Rugby East player. And then it gets moved out wider there as Hernandez from Navy makes a tackle. Good defensive line speed from the Naval Academy. I think Navy knows what to expect from these forward runs here, but Rakim Rispress is not going to get stopped there. Six, oh! one, 210 pound flanker. And the ball's moved out to Demi's hands. Remember, they're still missing a scrum half, this Army team, and putting it together pretty well. As a counter ruck comes in there, and referee says, all good. And Navy putting some pressure on this Army team. Army able to maintain possession for the moment. 
as the ball gets moved out to Meehan, to Meehan. And they're keeping it tight, just trying to wind through this. Could be a, in, could be a card here. Ball here and I, maybe a card coming now for the Navy team. And has done, is that Mc, McNerney? No, McNerney was just showing the card for one of his teammates there. That's gonna be somebody else coming off the field for a high tackle. After a couple of them, fair enough. And they're going for points here. That was a uh, that was a good set of play uh, from Army. Hard. You could tell they're missing their scrum half, right? The the and in response, they're really tightening things up and slowing slowing the game down. All forwards, it's not going wide. It's a uh, it's smart. They're smart rugby players and yeah, smart uh, coaches. Good choice here. Is they're going to go the wind coming across the field? Kim's going to try to put this one through the sticks to. Got the score a little closer before half. But Army has had opportunities. We're deep inside Navy's territory, and they can't exchange three for five. Kim lines it up. And Kim. Pushes it down, and this time it's good. And we are at eight to six. Army now trails Navy by two, with just six and a half minutes to go in this first Wait. half here. Take a look at some of the reserves there for Army West Point. And we've got some exciting few minutes to go here. How much? Yeah. Kim able to push it there, and now. Wait a minute. Wait. One minute remaining on the sin bin for the Army, Army West Point number nine. So we're gonna, Navy's gonna play down a player for a little bit here as the kick goes long from McNerney to Kim. Kim at his 22 sends that one. Counter attack. Now the ball moves across into the hands of Benjamin Johnston. Johnston moves back across. McNerney grabs his head. He knows exactly what happened. Ball hoofed straight in a touch. It's gonna be a line out here for Army West Point. Just about 42 meters out from the Navy line and Army getting the better run of it right now. Yeah, that's a, I'm un, no one sure about that decision. <laughs> it was a kick straight into touch. I, I think I know what he was trying to do was kick it in the corner down there where there was no coverage, but uh, just got away from him. And the line out maul here from West Point as they cross the 40 meter line. It don't look like they're stopping anytime soon. The ball well at the back there. Navy collapsed it somewhat, but have drawn an advantage from referee O'Brien. Still with him as the ball comes up to wrist press. He is well covered, but shakes one tackle, shakes two, able to cross the 22 meter line. And Kim slides around back the other way and moves the ball into a waiting receiver's hands, but he's well covered. Got to play within themselves here without their scrum half. Wrist and press again. Oh Demi has taken his scrum cap off, and he's held up there briefly, but able to get the ball to the ground, and Army's still on the attack here. Options either way if they want them. And there goes the ball into Austin Rutledge's hand. Advantage That's over! Fature today, the Aurora, Colorado native. Now the ball moves to Colin Gr uh, Gross. Gross takes it across the 22, starting to string it together. They got a lot of runners here if they want them, as Demi shows the ball and tries to go around the outside. Stay. Kim steps in on the first receiver position. Moves the ball into one of his big senior front row players. Moves the ball up to Austin Depp from California, Maryland. Oh. Depp in front of the post. They're starting to make some ground here. Wrist press. He's certainly been a live wire so far. Has an open side flanker. Another one of the Impressive members of this team as this time it's Number up to team. Matthew Me and Me and can't make anything happen. Looks like we have an advantage here against Navy and the Army. Maybe here for some points either way. They have a free play at the moment as the ball gets moved out into Lakina's hands. And there's Lakina showing what he can do. Jake Lakina, the All American, 6'3, 195 senior. Haven't seen too much of him this game, but there he is, ball in hand, coming in for the big moment for West Point. Yeah, a, a nice sidestep over. Um, over pursue on the defense 
shooting out to the wing. He sidestepped right into the gap, has enough speed to cover the seven meters and dot it down for a try. I'm impressed because that, that really started, I think, when Depp took that, Depp, he took that pick and go and drive the, kept his legs driving, moved everything back, got Navy on their back foot, and then finally was, were able to get some phases together and free up their big time center. Lakina. Lakina. Jake Lakina showing what he can do. One of our players to watch in the <laughs> pregame. That's and certainly one of the battles as uh, Kim now. A bit of an easier shot. We'll see how he does. Kim gets the extras, and we are moving to 13 to 8 with just two minutes to go in this first half of this Army Navy Classic and the Commander in Chief's Cup final game. As for the longest time, it looked like Navy was going to go into the locker room with uh, the advantage, but it's come Army's way. And now Army has their full team back, so their scrum half is back, and Navy is playing down a man. McNerney. Oof, goes long oh. again and nearly got a knock on out of it, but great play by West Point to hold on to that ball as Demi uses that footwork to get across the line one more time. And Kim, a couple of runners in front of him, taken down just about 30 meters out. And West Point. Getting their tail feathers up a little bit here as the ball comes loose and it's just popped through and Navy forced back on it. And McNerney is well hit at the 40 meter line. And that ball just keeps squirting backwards. Navy in a bit of trouble here as West Point forwards come powering through. And here's the penalty against Navy. And do you take the points here, Matt? I do. You walk in I do. You get up. You got a minute left. I, I'd say take the points, but they go quick. There they go, quick, wrist press, wrist press, try to slip one. Not the best idea going into one hand with this win, and wrist press ends up knocking the ball forward. Navy may have the last say, but just under a minute to go. Interesting series of play there from a mistake by Army, but it worked out into their favor by getting it down the field. Really impressed comeback yeah, by absolutely. Army. Through it a, shows you, I mean, either of these teams, if they get ahead of steam, they can they can make it work. So this is impressive from them as Uberard now to put it in, time winding down. Referee's going to bring it back up. And I think they just they lost just their footing, went straight down. Everybody looks okay. Navy may just want to go to halftime here and regather. This is uh, not too far away for them, just down six points. Well, I don't think that's Navy style to For kick it out. They're going to run, I bet you they run three phases out of this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how they do. As now the ball at McNerney's feet. We're into referee's time here. There could be a minute or two left. As the ball now moved out into the centers for Fiorelli. Fiorelli, the Richmond, Virginia born player, moves it. And now the ball is back, and they are just going to put this in a touch. Referee is whistled for halftime. That for Ryan ends his half of this Army Navy Classic. And at halftime here at Blake Field Presmac Rugby Complex in Annapolis, Maryland, it is Army West Point 13, Navy 8. What a great 40 minutes of rugby, Matt. And we're going to be back in just a few minutes with a first half recap and second half action. No, 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 you're doing a lot better. Keep watching the, the long page and see what I was talking about.
fight back. Second one. Starting to rugby is starting to break out a little bit, so it's good. How long was that? Just a victim of circumstance, just because it was high tackle, high tackle. So it wasn't pull out and read it. It's two now. Yeah. I'm not even going to make a joke about it. I just, it's not my thing.
All right, we're back here at Ernie Blake Field. You just saw some first half highlights there. Great shot of the crowd as the Rugby Channel brings you the second half of the Navy Midshipmen who are losing 13 to 8 to the Army West Point Black Knights. This is John Broker with Matt Robinette here for second half action. And a little shot of there of a, of a knock on earlier as we're getting ready for the second half. And Matt, this is going to be an incredible 40 minutes of rugby. It will be 40 minutes for some of these players on Navy. Um, won this game yet. So this is everything to them. Army, Navy, Air Force, Army, oh, these academies. Passion. But and our second half here is underway at Ernie Blake Field. As we'll get that to you in just a moment. We have Army taking the ball in this time, and that was turning number nine as the ball gets popped through for Demi to run on to. Demi can't quite get to it, possibly showing an Army second half tactic there of, put, of putting the ball in behind this rushing defense as the ball gets moved into Diaz's hands, the fly half, and now Navy on the move. Both teams early trying to get a run in here. Hard rushing off a defensive line there. Comes in and Lichens, the Oshkosh, Wisconsin native moves it on for the Naval Academy. Navy inside the Army half early in the second half here. And now they move it out wide. They've got some runners that they want them. They get the ball out there to Sam Davis, the Woodland, Texas boy. We haven't seen much of Davis yet today wearing the number seven jersey. And here they are trying to move it wide. But oh, nearly an interception there. But we may come back for a penalty for an intentional knock on. He was reaching for it, but only with one hand, Matt. Yeah, that's a penalty for sure. Every time uh, these referees are good enough, really good. And or Johnny on the spot on these things. It's going to be 40 minutes here. Uh, you know, I was talking with somebody at the break and saying, oh, it's a little choppy. And it's, he said, you know, it's Army Navy. <laughs> it's going to be a tough game for everybody. So I couldn't agree more. And it's, uh, it's living up to that for sure. And Navy is going to fall down there. Hey, go on, let's go, go on. Right. Navy going to have a line out attacking line out just 30 meters out from the line. They put some movement in there, and the ball goes to the front. Trying to move it forward there is Dalkey, the Castle Rock, Colorado native. The ball slipped forward. It's going to be an army scrum here, and they neutralize that threat. Just knocked it on just a little bit as he went to the ground. It'll be a turnover to army. Let's see how these scrums hold up uh, in the second half for both teams. Crouch! Bind. Set. The referee O'Brien brings together the first scrum of the second half, and Army now with Mean. Stay, stay seven. Balls gets moved to Harrison Farrell. Farrell, oh, big hit there in the midfield. Kim took a hard hit, but here's Lakina, the try scorer. Lakina across the 50 meter line. He's hard to bring down. Lakina's got one on him, got two on him, and he's brought down to the 22 meter line of this. Navy half and Army now on the run after a huge break. Kim up and ready to roll after that. But we'll see where they're going to go with it. The ball gets put up to Moshak. Moshak slips a ball to Deppy. Deppy moves across the line. Harrison Farrell finds a runner. Finds Rakim Rispress. Here they look and get the ball back to Deppy. St. Mary's Riken School graduate. Navy slows this one down and going for the tight option just to draw on some defenders. There are the Army forwards. Yes! And Navy tries to pile through that one, but Army's come up with it. We've got a good old fashioned tussle going on here at the base of these contact area, these rucks, Matt. Just trying to keep those forwards locked into around the, uh, the rucks to, so they, they can get some space on the, the outside. Feet of Demi. Demi can't find his way through. Pops the ball down and gets it up to Zagula, but it was knocked forward. And the junior gets a knocked forward ball. We're going to have a scrum here for Navy. And after that big break from Lakina, that's a, I'm sure that's a welcome moment for this midshipman team. Yeah, Kim really put his body on the line and opened it up for Lakina on the outside. 
had a little sidestep and he was off to the races. Navy defense was able to get back and they held for several phases while the Army was picking and going. Now they're checking out a player right now. Make sure he's okay. A little injury on the field here. And medic out there to take a look at uh, Denver Fuller. Nuclear engineering major, major from uh, Webster, Ohio. You could see Army was just trying to pick and go several phases to keep the Navy forwards locked in to around the breakdown and then open it up wide where they were hoping um, and, uh, Demi could could use that quick feet, qu use his quick feet and get through. Just lost, just lost it in tackle. And Fuller comes off for a head injury assessment there for Navy. Navy to put the ball in here. As Looks like they're both back to full strength. Scrum here for Navy, and they're going to use Fiorello as part of their exit strategy again. And Fiorello gets it out just about 18 meters out as they move the ball back there. And low driving kick through the wind comes, and the Army is going to have a line out again and a good attacking position. And we'll see where they go to through. Go where they go to here is Moshak gets the ball in his hands quickly. Yeah, good good effort to no, clear that's, that ball that's out of there. My fault. Give me a step, please. One. He wants Navy to move yeah, back yeah, just a bit. I'm sorry. The ball goes to the tail of the line out there. It doesn't hit his mark, but they come up with it anyway. It does this West Point team. Let's see where they choose to attack here as the ball gets passed to pretty much no one. But if you want someone, you want Demi. That good footwork is able to get a little bit of go forward there. It's his opposite number, Fiorelli. Gets a hold of him. Tackle! Blue hold! Really a bit smaller than Demi, but able to make the tackle as the ball comes up to Carabata. Carabata makes a big break after his show of the ball, and the senior is still on the rumble there as he gets just outside the 22-meter line. Huge run from the international relations major as now the ball moves wide, and they get it into Gross's hands. Knock on Gross. <laughs> it's two knocks. Knocks the ball forward, and it's going to be another Navy scrum, and they get out of jail again. Yeah, Carabota's down, though. I hope he's okay. He, he just made that big run. Nobody wanted any ta any piece of him running, rumbling down the field. So I'm sure he's fine. He just wanted to go for a little rumble there and take some time as we take another look at it here, just breaking through those tackles. That's a former Army soccer player, actually. Pretty lucky Six there. Six foot 225. The academy did not get a penalty again for high tackles. Yeah, I think so. there were some bodies in the way there. Referee couldn't just see that, but uh, well done. Okay, about it seems to oh, be okay. Let's go. It was knocked on by White. It's going to be a scrum to Navy. Substitutions are going to come in to be a factor here. I noticed on Hickey's board when we were meeting with him, they aren't substitutes, they're finishers. Finishers, that's, that's a new in vogue word. As scrum goes down, referee O'Brien brings it up. And we're going to put it in again here. Navy will keep the ball. Makes me wonder if, because that's two that we've seen drop immediately, makes me wonder if that's the difference between turf and grass. Could be, yeah, a little tougher for some of the front rows on this turf to get their body position right. And now the ball goes at. That, no first, that first drive from Navy, yeah. man. Big pressure as a Fiorelli again takes it across the line. And Fiorelli with Army trying to hold him up this time. Chris Press couldn't get it done. And Uverard goes to the boot with a little bit of win. Puts it over the head of Nathan Williams. Takes it no problem. And the management major crosses his own 40 and is hauled down there by one of those reserves from Navy. The head injury reserve, but has not released. Rolled one too many times. And it's going to be a Navy... Uh, Nice box kick by number nine from Navy. Uverard, pretty effective. Fielded cleanly by the fullback, Williams. And then good defense from the substitute number 22. As Navy pushes it downfield. We're seeing some two really good defensive teams. The pressure hasn't 
let up at all today. The defensive line speed is really good. I think Army's doing a better job at slowing the game while Navy wants to get their pattern and get running. And there's a nice offload there. And Dalkey, the line-out target, takes it again. Just knocked on. As we are 13-8 to eight here, Navy with the scrum here. And they're going to be looking to close that gap as they're down five. And this is still anybody's game here, Matt, in this Army-Navy Commander-in-Chief's Cup challenge. As we shot a McNerney there. We do have our first sub coming in for Navy. As number 18, Bo Hendrick Holmes comes in. And uh, boy from the Bronx, another... New York player, area player with uh, Gardy LeBond, but he played for Xavier Prep in high school. Sophomore coming into the game, and he'll want to make a big impact here. As you get a shot of Uverard putting that ball in, quickly getting to McNerney's feet, and the squeeze is on. Let's see where they choose to go. Very McNerney. nicely done again. Ooh. Oh, that ball comes nearly squirting out the back there. And now McNerney picks it up and goes, and McNerney bashes through a couple. Where will they go with this as they find Hernandez? He is certainly a live wire. And now another pick and go here. And here's Navy knocking on the door. Let's see if this gets a release here from Army. And diving over they go. And we'll have to find out who the scorer was at the bottom of that pile. But fortunes can change just like that, Matt Robinette. And that was tremendous work by this Navy team. Outstanding try, team try, really, from the scrum. And it was interesting. Uh, Bo Kendrick Holmes came in for Jubal Schmidt at tight head, so I was wondering how that dynamic was going to work. And they destroyed, they won the scrum uh, two phases later. Keeping the legs moving, McNerney really pushed that defensive line back, and it was one more pick and go. Um, and it was McNerney up here to make the kick. We'll try to find out uh, who that try score was. The bottom of a pile of bodies there, just waiting for an announcement. And here's another look at it. We'll see. Sorry, that's a turnover there. Hernandez did well, too. You, you know what is great about players like Hernandez? They're not, they're great athletes, but more importantly, they're reliable. Yep. He's not going to drop the ball. He's not going to make bad decisions. He's not going to pass it under pressure. He's going to go straight. He's going to take it in. And conversion is good there, and we're at 15-13. Two points in it, Matt. But you're absolutely right. Hernandez is doing a great job there. 15-13, Naval Academy takes the lead here. We have another Navy player exiting the field with a potential injury. This is exactly what an Army-Navy game is. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Hard running. It's uh, exciting, tight. It's blood. Blood. We have a blood, blood sub coming on here for this Navy team. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we are in a tight game here, Matt. This is going to be blood, an Greg. interesting 30 minutes left to go here. We have a sub. It's on. So it's just, this is a blood sub coming on for six or ten minutes. Uh, yep. They can clean up the blood. Still here. Ten minutes gone in this second half action. It is 15-13, hometown Navy midshipmen over the Black Knights with John Kim. John Kim, one of the seniors on this team, wants to go home with his fourth Army-Navy win as a high ball goes up there and not handled particularly well there by Navy. And a knock-on comes from Joel Hobbs. And we're going to have a scrum here. After all that great work in that try, they knock on the kickoff. Every coach's nightmare. And here we're going to have a scrum for Army, just middle of the field, about 40 meters out. And you saw the change in tactic. We've seen him going deep, deep, deep. And that's one he wanted to do contested. Hangs it high in the wind. It pays off for him. Split backs. Lots of options here. See where they choose to go. Oh, good scrum. As Farrell, he's a threat on his own there. Meehan gets a ball at his feet. Good squeeze from Navy. And knocked on by Meehan in the scrum there. Navy's going to have it. And you said it about two minutes in this game, Matt Robinette. That is going to make a huge difference. The power of that Navy scrum. Yeah, and Army did a, 
outstanding job on that scrum. They, they withstood the first drive. They had it at the back of the feet, yep. and it just, just knocked it on a little bit. Fly half is back on for yeah, yeah, Navy, yeah. Scott, D, Scott Diaz. He was the blood sub. And we have returned to blood sub here. Now Navy gets the opportunity to attack. Navy just inside their own 40-meter line. Really hard to defend this part of the field in this setup. See where they choose to go as another squeeze come on here, and here goes Navy, and they have an advantage, the penalty advantage here, so they have a free play as just a pure power forcing that penalty against West Point. But here goes Navy with a free play. We'll see where they choose to go. Ball is into Diaz's hands. And they move it across nearly to the 40 meter line of West Point. Little pop there, doesn't go to hand. And we're going to go back for that penalty. And Navy, you know, they know where their strengths are. That's a that's a Gavin Hickey sign right there. They they know where they're going to have to perform big, and that was one of those places. Yeah, and you know they've been very good in the scrums all day. And what Army had to do there was their loose head prop just popped up, lifted up, and you got to stay flat. So the. Referee called the penalty, had advantage, and tried to tried to go wide. weren't able to get it, but penalty back here. And I don't know. I, I guess they selected a scrum instead of a kick. Oh, that's that's interesting here. Are they trying to? Uh... Are they trying to draw another yellow card here? Do you think? Well, they just subbed out depth, Army did, and hope. And Paul Adams has come in wearing jersey number 17. So now he gets to go up front row and see how this is feeling. And we're going to have the scrum here again as Navy really fancies himself in this area right now. And you know how hard it is to come off the bench, and it is chilly, but I'm sure that, I mean, they got adrenaline flowing and everything. But to come off the I'll bench and go into Crouch. the front row against this scrum, this, let's watch this and see how it works out. This is a job that Matt Sherman has brought him in to do is to hold down the scrum. It's going down. We got a free kick here, and there goes McNerney. He doesn't need an invitation to start running, and McNerney moves it out to the wing. And that replacement there, Hobbs. Hobbs takes it in, gets it to the ground, and Navy is on the move here. Navy gets it to one of their forward pods there, and he gets it down to the ground now. The ball is moving across field. Another play out the back. Guardy LeBon able to slip on away there to Johnston as he's getting hit there, but really flat-footed, great defense. Nothing doing there for Navy. They're going to need a bit to go forward here as the ball bobbles out the back. and Tackled! Navy gets the ball and recycles Stop. there. Might have some room in behind him if they want to take it, but they go to fly half, and he does, and it's inside the 22. It just bounces in a, oh, nearly in a touch there. Matthews. Matthews fields the ball and takes it in the touch himself. The assistant referee has signaled for a Navy line out here, and after a big collision, it's going to be Navy ball just outside the Army 22. And a kick that, you know, he looked like he was just trying to find some space there. Ends up working really in their favor, Matt. This is a hard hitting game. We just saw that big hit on the sideline. We've got a sub coming on. But that was a good series of play. Once again, the new front row comes in, gets a penalty, a free kick called on him immediately. McNerney yeah. off to four? the races. Come and back on. 15 13, Navy over Army here in Annapolis. As they go to the front, and Dalkey has been one of their main runners all day as he tries to force himself forward. Swin. Gets to the 22. And replacement hooker there, Livermore from Orange, California. Just have to clean that one up. Now the ball moves wide across the field, and they've got some runners there as Diaz moves to Fiorelli. Fiorelli running straight as he does so well. Now the ball gets moved back across to Diaz. Now they got a forward pot in McNerney, the try scorer. Heads through as they try to some space there. We're going to move it across the field, but into Sam Davis' hands. 5'11", 205-pound senior on this Navy team. A little space in behind that he was looking for but couldn't find it. And Dalkey comes up with the ball. Now the ball's been chipped forward there by Samaniego and ends up rolling out of the back of the touch. 
try zone there, but good endeavor by this Navy team. I think they know some of those spaces are in behind this defense. It's probably their best place to go. And, and the quick hands, good catching, good passing, and then the quick hands from hand to foot for Sant uh, Santom, for the winger for Navy, really gave him the opportunity. It didn't work out, but they put the pressure on. And they're going to get the ball back, presumably, on the kick. Heads up. Good, good, good series of play and phases there by the Naval Academy midshipmen. That's going to be a 22 here for Army coming out. Time back on. Got a tight one here. And we're good. Two points in. It's just about halfway through the second half as Kim launches a bit of a longer one to McNerney. McNerney feels it cleanly, and he puts up a high ball himself. <laughs> wow, it's headed toward the sideline, though, and another mistake kick there from Connor McNerney. Right idea, wrong execution. And we're going to have a line out here for Army just outside their own 40 meter line. Step here. Stop. Come off. You're so this stop, game is going to come down to subs. Subs and scrums. Absolutely. It's, it's going to be a tight one for the last Switch. 20 minutes, but sub the subs are going to influence this Switch. game. Good. And numbers? 15, you have numbers. Navy. If you match, you're good. Have a line you. out here. Time back off. Time back off. Point. Moshak. Puts it to the tail there. Not the cleanest throw down to Farrell, but Farrell moves it across the field. Oh, nearly picked off there by Diaz, oh. but first knock hey, yeah. A little bit of afters Careful. there and a couple of knock-ons there. First one by Navy. Is it scrum in the middle of the field? Scrum center Two. of the field. Sorry, first one was... I didn't see which way he pointed there. Whose scrum is this? It's uh, blue, I believe. Naval Navy Academy. Scrum. All right. Interesting. Oh, there he is. has the ball. Go ahead, Matt. Interesting change in tactic from Army going off the top instead of bringing it down on the line out. Scrum in the middle of the field here. Where are they going to go? There's a replacement wing out there for Army just getting into the groove, and he's going to have a lot to cover should McNerney break off to the right. They're going right. And a penalty oh, again. Wow. What do you do here if your Army points? Mc McNerney, to his credit, doesn't go quick. I'm sure that would have driven Coach Hickey a little crazy. But they're going to look for points here to extend this to a five-point lead, get it out of the penalty kick area. Army has got to be careful of these mounting penalties and the scrums. They can't afford a, another yellow card and lose in the front row or second row. It's something we haven't really talked about. I mean, in the, these, the last three years, Army has won. It's been four years since Navy's won this Army-Navy game. These seniors on Navy, they want this game. They want to take these last 20 minutes and make sure they don't leave the academy without a win against Army. So this is a big moment for them. How do you think that'll play into the last 20 minutes? Well, I think it's going to be hard to take a senior out of this game. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think it's going to be huge. This is, it's going to be a balance. The emotion to the game, and, it, and we all experience that in big rivalries, but none of us. As McNerney puts it up, and pushes it wide and we're still at a two-point game here but it's going to be a 22 drop for army they're looking to go quick but yeah this is a, it's a big moment for these teams as we have another sub coming in here this means everything to these these young men and these leaders winning this for a, if you're a midshipman just watch it if they if they're able to pull this out the emotion it's going to be Amazing. As a, we'll get to those subs in just a moment there as balls kick well down, but Navy fields it well. And their chance to move across the field here as Mendelo goes in and doesn't release. And now it's going to be Army's penalty here just outside the 15 meter line, 50 meter line, excuse me. What as we don't want to see from Navy with the slim lead is the old prevent defense, if you will. They still have to keep the foot on the pedal, mm -hmm. and they, they still have to keep attacking hard and, and running their patterns. Although neither team has really gotten into their patterns too much. Navy in the first half had a good 20-minute stretch of possession. Uh, and Army but, now at the 22-meter line of Navy after that penalty, able to take down the line out, and they are in the attacking position now as a quick pick off the back there. 
I expect Army to pick and go here for a little bit, try to open up the wide. As they try to go quickly and do, again, they're looking for a little runner. They have somebody wide, as that was Jareth Long Garrett, who's sitting out there, number 18, one of the replacements. See if he figures into this movement here. And there they go again. Driving towards that line is one of the second rows from this team, this West Point team. This Once is where again, they might go, miss. Look like Austin Rutledge there. Might miss yeah, depth pick here. Towards the front. Interesting tactic here. They got great runners out wide. They got Lakina looking for the ball, but they are staying tight. They want to take on Navy right up front here as Navy drives them back that time. Another attempt by Army, and that's Sanderson. Turned over. And a knock on there. It's going to be Navy ball, and they have gotten out of this so far as long as their scrum goes to plan as it has all day, and that was an awful lot of hard grafting work there by Army, and at the end, it doesn't pay off. As you see, a little knock on there. It's pretty and lucky he didn't get called for a penalty on yeah. that for uh, not releasing. And that's got to be a little deflating for this Army team with 17 minutes to go, 15-13 Navy over Army here at the Prusmac Rugby Complex in Annapolis, Maryland. So another sub up front for Navy. So they've got a whole, I think, a whole new front row in as opposed to Army's one front row sub so far, I believe. It's a big scrum. Uberard goes to put it in, but referee's gonna want it set again. It's gonna be, I think uh, McNerney's gonna have to pick it up off the back here and go. They're gonna need an exit strategy to get some movement here before they can kick the ball out. They're gonna wanna be nice and strong in that respect. Yeah, this is a weird kind of positioning here where the goal posts might be in the way of yeah. uh, clean passes. Army can't afford another penalty here though. Nicely I'm done. Sure they would love to draw and a strong maybe scrum that time again. And McNerney breaks off to the left and McNerney caught up in the tackle of Kim there. Good work by this Army team as Natalie moved to Laban. Laban haven't seen too much of today but Laban moves it out onto the Wing there where Johnston, the now fullback, is, is waiting. Everybody's good with it, and Uverard pushes one downfield in the hands of Matthews. Matthews feels it cleanly from the back, and he's on the run with a runner outside him. Gets away a little pass there, and replacement number 23, and that's Mbani. Mbani comes down just outside the 22 of this Navy team. Expect to inject some pace in this is Mbani. And Navy barrels into this one, but penalized they are, and... Just up two points, they come in on the off angle there, Matt, and now they're under pressure again. That was a try-saving tackle by the academy player out there. Just got his shoelaces, clipped his ankle a little bit and got him down, now, and earned, gave up the penalty. It's a dangerous, it was a, I understand the box kick, went straight to the middle of the field. Williams is a really strong runner, able to get that one-handed pass that just wrap around. He got hit as he was getting hit. It was a beautiful offload, uh, and it was nice. An offload to Mbani there. Does a great job. Does the international relations major as we have an injury here. It's going to take a minute for teams to take a look at their players and make sure everybody's okay as we still have a penalty against Navy. And a John Kim was there. It looked like he was going to kick it out and put it to the corner, try to stamp something on this game. 15 minutes, up by two or down by two. It's uh, it's going to be a this is going one, to be a good one for the ages right here, here in the last 15 minutes. And I can't tell if one team has an advantage yet or not. Yeah. And it's this is, oh, uh, oh, did he get it in? This yep. time he. Kim keeps it outside of the try zone. Luckily for him, and five meters out, we have an army line out here. I'm going to uh, drive is on. I'm going to say a mall. A mall is in our future. They did really good down the mall in late in the first half. It took it 10 or 15 meters. The referee has time off. Waiting on a ball. And, uh as simple as that. They need a rugby ball. Kind of important. <laughs> 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 
They are going short, though. They do have their flankers uh, bunched around the fly half. Yeah, or just Rich would like that ball, I'm sure. Nice. As the mall is on with the short numbers, and Navy working hard to shut it down. And driving towards the line. Looks like ball is on the ground now, but we have an advantage against Navy, and they're going to have to watch out. And the advantage still on as Navy uh, Army pushes their way forward. Another pick and go, and they want to get this done right now, does Army. And Army heads towards the line. And Army is there, still with the advantage. Rolling their players in. Navy's going to have to avoid a yellow card. Not go too many more times. And off to the left they go. And touches it down. And try awarded. And Army. No, I think he's coming back to the penalty. Oh, sorry, we're coming back to a penalty. I heard some roaring crowd there from Army as I was deep inside what was happening. But we're going to come back for a penalty. We'll see what they choose to do, and they're going to go for another line out here. I think they're uh, pretty confident in that phase of the game, Matt. Not surprising. I like the call. No, I'd rather not do a scrum against this Naval Academy team, and tapping and going quick might have been an option too, but I like this. Control it. They've been Down. executing their Two lineouts really they go. well. So quickly try to move that, but Navy does a good job there. And the ball is in the hands of... Moshak there as they head towards the line. And did he get it? And it is try awarded. It looked like Moshak there. We're not sure who the try scorer was. We'll find out. And that is another incredible drive from this Army team as they're pushing forward here as we're 18 to 15. Another lead change. Army retakes a lead, Matt, and this is getting interesting here. Yeah, it's getting personal, too. There was a little swing <laughs> down there that the referee didn't see, but that their, their lineouts are as effective as Navy scrums. <laughs> that they, they are executing those at a high level. And it's 18-15. Tough kick here for Kim. Yeah, it's a big Very kick. This puts angle. him ahead by a try, so... It's, a, it's an important kick. Into the wind. Tough one here. Tries have been hard to come by today. This certainly has been. Very tight defensive matchup here. As Kim pushes that one. And it is no good. We're at a three point game here 18 to 15. The Black Knights over the midshipmen. What a few minutes of rugby we have left to go here on the Rugby Channel at the Prosmac Rugby Complex in Annapolis, Maryland. As McNerney rushes back out, McNerney is ready to go. Two more. The referee. Oh. The referee gave him that. Gave him. Come oh. on. Oh, sorry. A little confusion on the scoreboard there. That's what we're looking at. Referee was motioning to the sidelines that uh, they had added the two points for that conversion, which is not there. So we are at a three-point game as the ball comes down to Harrison off of McNerney kick. And that was Harrison Farrell. The scrum half, but uh, doesn't get what he wants on it. Now Navy with a line out just outside the 22-meter line. And we'll see what kind of willpower these boys have. Kickoff was executed perfectly. Line out, exciting. not straight. Guardi LeBond, we're doing the scrum half position that goes out, but ball not straight, I believe. But the line, the assistant referee is motioning for something. It's gonna we're going to have a line out here to West Point. That, that hurts the ship midshipmen. That, that was a good possession yep. in plus territory. It was close, but it was definitely not straight. Now they got to work to turn this over. And there's some more substitutes in here for Army that we'll try to get to in a minute as the ball goes to the front of the line out there to Nisior. And Army now content to keep it tight for a little bit. They're going to slow this down quite a bit now. And that's Harrison Farrell hangs one up in the air. We'll see what happens to it as the ball gets pushed forward by West Point. I believe we're going to come back to a Navy scrum here with plenty of room open on the field as Farrell hung one up into that 
very tricky wind at the moment. This referee O'Brien sends a player off. I think for a bit of a blood sub here. Or yep, Hernandez goes back on as substitute Livermore comes off to get the blood checked here. We're gonna have a scrum here for Navy. Plenty of time in it here with eight and a half minutes to go. Down three points. Navy's gonna want to go for it. Guardy Laban has moved into the scrum half position. Let's see what he can. Patrick Moore, very good outside player. center. As we have another slight hold up here. This time puts it in, and that strong Navy scrum trying to get the push again as Fiorelli gets a ball put in behind him. Diaz is looking wide, this is in the hands of Johnson. Johnson moves it out. Samaniego, he's been a very, very important strike runner for this team, but can't get it through that time as LeBon moves it back. And they've gone wide once and back to McNerney. They're going to look to press on this side of the field. See if they have the numbers of the defense as Diaz moves it across and Dalkey hits into the hands of Fiorelli. Fiorelli nearly finds a gap, gets across the 40 meter line. Back out now as they have runners in the midfield as gets into the hands of one of their big reserves there. That's forward reserve Michael Galvin takes it in. And they've got some runners spread. McNerney doesn't have someone on the outside. Takes it in and has that ball. Now Guardi LeBond, looked like an offside there to me, but referee didn't see it. Brock! As that was the long Garrett that came in. Patience now, is key here. Yeah, patience and execution. Dalkey, such an important player for the lineouts of this team, now running and has it going. Ball comes back out. Putting together the phases. A little slower defense here from Army. Navy passes are just getting out front. Referee sees it. I believe we have a high tackle there against West Point. And they've got time. They can try to go for the draw. They can try to go for the win. I'm not predicting anything here, Matt, but no. that, uh, this is a big moment in the game here. Time off. Just about six minutes you to check. go. And we have a player down that's going to have to get checked. Yeah, and this gives Navy some time to think through this. I'm, I'm thinking... Um, we see the play out behind there. Those balls sitting right in front. I think we're going to come into the high tackle right there. You can see Lakina wraps him up around the top. Referee got taken out on that <laughs> one as well. Hit, was able to keep his eyes open and see that high tackle, which was good. No, no, no. So goes up. He comes down. I'm thinking um, kick, kick for touch. I would think they kick Successful? for touch too. I think they want to win this game. I don't think they want yeah, to draw so this game. Right? That's, if your mall's uh, formed and then he pulls it down, that's a penalty. Scrum. Otherwise, it's just a that's, tackle. That's another good option for this team. We'll see what they choose to do. Well, I'm saying we're playing. Uh, has six minutes left. Forward, so we're happy. So it's just rugby. Know, there, is some, there is some value 18, in tying 15. it up and getting the kick back. And McNerney has motion towards the touch line. We'll see what they decide to do. Oh, if it was closer and straight on, I think maybe. I points, think might go right for the now, kick. touch, bring it down. They've miscued on a couple of their lineouts, so this is going to be important here as they're three points down in this Army-Navy Commander-in-Chief's Cup Classic. You can hear the crowd start to get behind this Navy team. This is a big we got moment. This step, 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 step. For these young men. I think this place will erupt if they get a try yeah. out of this. I this think is they exciting. have to go safe here and look for Dalkey. We'll see where they go with this lineout. They go to the back to McNerney, but it was not straight. Big mistake there. Options. Navy tries to go a little fancier, and it doesn't work out as time starts to wear away under six minutes. Line out. And it will be a line out. Army doesn't even want this scrub no, down there. No surprise Can't in that blame call. Him. That's just a little mistake there by Navy, but still have opportunity. They have Army pinned deep in their territory, and it's a lot of pressure. And they go to the front to Long Garrett. 
And a penalty there against Navy. That's our own undoing for pulling that down. And Army's going to be able to move this forward as Kim steps up and settles things down a little bit. And a real chance there waves to. They still have time with five minutes to go, Matt. But that's a, that's a big opportunity down for them. Yeah, to give up that penalty there. That was a tough one. And Kim pushes it downfield with a good kick that time. Gets it outside their own 40-meter line. And a little pressure relief for this West Point team. And they get to keep possession. But all Got the pressure, this. all the pressure is on the midshipmen right now. For just under five minutes left, down by three. They've got to gotta start doing some uncharacteristic things to try to get these turnovers. Leave it now. Maul. Uh, Maul there. The safe line out is West Point. West Point driving forward as... Farrell puts a high one up inside the 22 for Samaniego to come down with. Samaniego has a couple of runners on him. Able to recycle it there. And Guardi Laban oof, puts a high one up in the middle of the field there. And we'll see what happens here because Williams, very safe under that. Has to be taken down by Fiorella at the Navy 40. Navy now on defense. And I would say some of these pick and goes are going to keep coming from this Army team. They want to keep this tight, wear down some clock. Yeah, if Navy gets this ball back, they, they cannot kick it back over to them. They've, they've got to keep possession, but it's going to be hard to get possession back from pick and goes for 40 meters. Well, that being said, they have three minutes and 45 seconds left in this game. That's a lot of pick and goes. Leave it to! Two we'll blue, stop! We'll see what happens here as one of the Army players shoots stop. through. Trying to draw on that defense there. Going to have to look wide, too. Player like Lakina gets a hold of the ball. Things could change, but that was Rakim Rispress. Takes it through, and he's able to recycle. Taken down by McNerney. And Navy on their heels. Army this is, working their way across the field. This is a really tiring way to play. So they could see some mistakes here from Army. Army has to be careful. Make sure they execute on this. And again, they're keeping Stolen. It Stolen. Taken away. Unbelievable. That's Luis Hernandez. The hooker takes that in, and he's able to come back. And LeBon puts it to the boot with not much time to go. Not sure if that was the right decision for him as Williams... Williams decides to keep ball in hand here. Oh, I thought the pass oh. a little bit forward there, but that's Mbani works it down inside the 50-meter line. And Laban may regret that box kick there as now it's back in the hands of the big fellows, Sanderson. Sanderson, defensive strategic studies major, takes it in. He's spent 10 minutes in the same one. certainly made up for that since then. And at 2 minutes, 10 seconds, we're back in the pick-and-go game, Matt. Yeah, that was a... Uh kicking it back over to him was not, not the ideal choice there. They've got to work hard True play. True to play. get this ball back. After a turnover yeah. there, LeBron had some options. You stay out there. They have chosen the wrong one as continuing to barrel it forward inch by inch is this Army team and Hernandez goes in and clamps it once again but can't get a hold of that one. I almost would Tackle! let the guy run to get him isolated. Intentionally miss the first tackle and get him on the back end. They're not going to get a turnover. And now the ball's in Kim's hands. Kim to Lakina. Lakina, well tackled there, but pops it back up to Kim. Kim moves it up. And now Navy Boy! really has to try to turn Stop. this over. But Army does a great job holding that ball as the clock winds down. The clock against them. Navy's going to have to make something happen here. If they want any chance at this, Leave it, stay. their players are starting to launch themselves Leave over. It. And it's penalty a... against Navy. Entry. And we are at the one-minute mark here, Matt, as Navy makes a crucial error inside their own 40. Come on. And it is slipping away. Could you add about two minutes? I think we have about two minutes left. Okay. Yeah. More Five? Yeah. Could you have them at the time for that? And they have two minutes left. Please. And it's 18-15, Army over Navy. Four. Will this be four years time. in a row? of Army victories, or can Navy pull something out of the hat here? I think they're adding five minutes. Can't imagine they'd add five minutes here, but we'll see. That? Just adjust it. Oh. 
There's five I, minutes left to go in this game, Matt. I, I think, think he's just adding his injury time now and, and putting it on the board so everybody can see it. As Ooh. that ball rolls out, and it's going to be a line out here for Army. They could make a big final movement right now. Well, Navy just got a put big this game gift away. with five more minutes added. They need to shut this down. They can't allow a try right here or a score of any kind. Army's line out has been pretty deadly, though. Secured it well. It's unable going down, to get the, ball. the referee not uh, not calling anything here. I think it was I think a clean sack. Stick, stick with these big pick and goes. And again, they go towards the line. Ball on the ground. Ruck. Counter ruck coming in. We'll Ball's see what nice. Navy can do. And Navy gets a scrum here, and they still have time with four minutes to go in this contest. You can really feel the tension in yeah. in this stadium. <laughs> the the Navy fans, the silence is uh, kind of dead. The deafening. crowd in front of us is dead silent. <laughs> this is this a big crowd of a few thousand here, and they are really wrapped in what's going on here. Can McNerney's almost... going to have the ball at his feet, and if somebody's going to make something happen, Connor McNerney's going to be a big part of it. Kind of feel everybody just holding their breath on each of these possessions. Mm -hmm. There's the drive forward, as you would expect. And Laban now moves it back into Diaz's hands. They're going to go wide right away and go for it. And here, let's see, we have slip tackle there. And here comes Navy. Thought about going to the boot, but he gets to the 50-meter line, and he's got runners with him. And we have a penalty there against this Army team with plenty of time with three minutes to go on the clock. And it is going to be a penalty for Navy. They're still in it here seconds ago. We were talking about their impending defeat. Yeah, that's crazy. It was it, the clock was down to 30 seconds or so. Time was added for injury time, gave new life to yep. midshipmen. And I think you can see that uh, you can isolate that Army wing who just missed that tackle. So that may be something they're going to think about going forward here. But they really have to come down with this line out. They went long before; it didn't work out for them. I would go to your your sure man Dalkey, which they do. They executed down that one well. And the ball is in the hands of replacement hooker Gordon Livermore. Now LeBon moves it into one of the reserve forwards' hands there. That was. Not sure, that was. As Fiorelli just takes it in. There's nothing really happening there. LeBon finds a runner in Livermore. Livermore gets up and he's held up. He's gotten his, he's gotten his foot around the there. Safe ball as the ball comes into McNerney's hands. It goes out the back to Johnson. Johnston, a great runner, slipped one on there. That's Hobbs. Hobbs gets to the 22-meter line. And we have some exciting moments in our hand with just a minute 45 left to go. And there goes McNerney powering in. Lebon ball in hand again. Oh, no. the ball oh gets out there. isolated. Got and it. And held in by the Navy player. We're going to have a penalty against him. West Point here with a minute 25 to go. Maybe able to clear their lines and get back down where they were. Big moment there. Great work by Navy, but all undone off a little isolation, as you said. Well, really great work by Army. That, that, I can't tell you the amount of pressure they're under right now. With the, and the way that Navy's offense works, they have a lot of bodies moving in a lot of different places. So it was really great defense by the Black Knights. And it's going to be, with a minute to go, definitely now, it's going to be a West Point line-out. Navy's going to have to throw everything at this. The Commander-in-Chief's Cup is on the line right here. The outcome We're just changing this numbers, this match. Make a big difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Well, let's match. We're good? Thank you. Turn back on. Moshak in the whole game. The hooker oh. puts it in, and it comes down cleanly. It's there. The, the ball there. is out. Dalkey. Play on. The ball's been called out there. And we're 25 seconds to go here. I would expect a couple of pick and goes. Oh, desperate, desperate moment there as Navy now takes it. And Gardy Laban goes on a run. They could have had that line out, but he's decided to move forward. Stop. And they have no scrum half. Somebody's going to have to come in and get this done as Dalkey moves it on to McNerney. McNerney 
barrels off one. And we're just inside the 40 meter line as LeBon comes and tries to dig this ball out. Leave it. And counter ruck coming Fine. in from Army. Referee says it's fine, it's but entry. penalty again yeah, yeah. Entry. against West Point. Oh, do you entry. go for the points? And this is the question. Yeah. Do you try to go for the post? Do you have time? They have time to go for the corner. Player coming in from the side, and we're going to decide what they want to do. They're calling in Johnston, and they're going to go for the line out here. Deja vu all over again. Yeah, yeah. Any, any stoppage of play, the game is over. So it's either score yep. or... Lose. Crucial line out here. Let's see what Navy chooses to do. McNerney this, tells his team what he wants. This crowd is waiting to erupt. Yeah. <laughs> you can just feel it. Livermore puts the ball in, looking for Dalkey. Dalkey able to come down with that one. No problem. Dalkey goes to the ground and works it back. Right into the hands of their waiting forward pod there. Screaming defense from West Point. They want to shut this down with a mistake. Guardi Laban slips one back into Samaniego, but Samaniego gets well taken. Nothing doing there. McNerney now. McNerney looking for somebody. McNerney gets across the 22. Going the same way to Diaz. Diaz slips a pass. Looked like it could have been a little forward, but referee says no problem as we have a Contest going on. There is Lebon. Lebon moves it back to a waiting pot of forwards. And that power front line def oh, offense. Lebon digs and digs. This time he comes up with it. He's got advantage we have an advantage for here offside. for an offsides here, as it was John Magnus from Redlands, California, that brought that one in. No problem with that slip pass as they were offsides. And let's see what they decide to do here. I'd go scrum. I agree. I think I would take the scrum here and try to make a run for it, unless they want to just go for the draw. And we shall see. They're running for a man running out with a T right now. There's a player running out with a T. We'll I'm see if they decide to go for the draw or whether they decide to go for the win here. This is scrum. They call for the scrum. They want to win. From here, the coaches are coaches are asking the crowd to be quiet. Guess they uh, have some communication here on the back of this scrum. It's a big. I moment. would look for McNerney to take it this way. Yeah, I think they'd all be looking at McNerney breaking off here. But they brought two players over here, so now I would go yep, definitely their, that way. They got their runners out. Good job from Army to and hold McNerney the scrum. McNerney now breaks off to the left, and where's McNerney going to go? McNerney in contact with Kim trying to strip the ball away. Ball into Samaniego's hand. Samaniego gets taken into the tackle there. And they're going to have to be careful as Big Magnus comes in, does the reserve. Got numbers set to the right if they can get it out they there. They got some numbers that they want to go, but McNerney now forced to take it in. Yeah. These are the moments you play for here as we are well past end of time here. And now it's Navy barreling up with some pick and goes here. Let's see where they try to decide to go. And they keep it tight there as they're going to keep bringing more players in. And it is power on power in front of the line here as Navy digs their way forward. They're five meters out. Just five meters out. Everything to play for as the ball gets slipped there. One and more. they've got an overload there. They cannot make it, and it's get held up at the line. They are looking at the try line there. Held up. And let's see who we have here. Referee calls a knock on, and West Point pulls it out right on their own try line. Unbelievable, Matt Robinette. It's a fourth year in a row for this Black Knights team, and they have done it by defending in fine fashion against a very game midshipman side as they're able to hold on for the win. What an ending. Wow, wow, what an amazing ending. These men, both teams, laid it all on the line. I could just feel the, the loss and the devastation by the Naval Academy folks and the, and the elation from the Army folks. What a great, great game. And you see the West Point team there really celebrating and what an effort from both of these sides here at the Prosmac Rugby Complex where 18 to 15
Navy has been defeated by Army for a fourth year in a row, but I think there's a lot more to come in the future from these two teams. What do you think the difference was in this game? The lineouts, I think. Um, it, I think it was a, definitely a forwards-oriented game, I, I, and I don't think either got a lot of face play going, although, and when they did, it was a lot of pick and goes and, and slowing down the game. I think Army slowed it down. I think Navy's scrum was dominant, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, yep. Army's lineouts, the Black Knights' lineouts, I think won this and game. And I think but. that really came down to a couple of moments there, but uh, there you have it, folks. 1815, it has been Army over Navy here at the Prusmac Rugby Complex in Annapolis, Maryland for the Rugby Channel. With Matt Robinette, I'm John Broker. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Days of old.